Here is the 2010 to 2015 Hyundai Tucson. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Naya Motors Inc. for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Ottawa, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now let's go ahead and get started. Open the driver's side door. Now right there at the bottom on the left side you'll find the primary hood release lever. Pull it in front of the vehicle right on top of that Hyundai emblem there. That's where the secondary hood release lever is. Put two fingers in there and push it up. Push it up and lift up the hood. This hood requires a prop rod to stay in place. So grab the rod and put it in that slot with the arrow marking it and let it go. Once the hood is open, that right there, that's the reservoir for the windshield washer fluid. It even says it on the cap right there, washer only. So flip up the cap open and in there you'll find the dipstick. So pull the dipstick out and let's get a reading. On there you will find notches. The highest notch that's covered in water, that indicates the fluid level in the reservoir right now. In this, the top three notches are empty, which means there's still some capacity to add some fluid in there. Now, if you want, you could put water in there if you'd like, but I would suggest putting windshield washer fluid even in the summer, because windshield washer fluid has detergents that just helps clean the windshield better. In the winter though, if you live in a place where the temperature goes below freezing, and if you put water, then water's going to freeze as the temperature goes down, it's going to expand, become ice, and it's going to cause all sorts of problems and you don't want any of that. So in the winter then, definitely put windshield washer fluid, the proper one. Like this one protects all the way down to minus 40 degrees. And this fluid is not water, it's chemical. So read all the warnings over there and don't let children near it. Now these bottles also come with a safety cap on it. So you either have to push it down and twist it left or squish it and twist it left like this one. So squish it from the sides, twist it left, and the cap comes off. Let's start filling it up and hold the bottle the way I'm holding. That way you have more control over the fluid flow and there's less spillage. Fill up the fluid and as you see the fluid level rise all the way to the top. Yep, right there, just stop. Let's put the dipstick back in. Close up this lid. Put the cap back onto the windshield washer fluid bottle. And that is pretty much it. In order to close the hood, first take load off the prop rod, so push it. Get the prop rod out of there, put it back in its place, secure it, lower the hood and slam it shut. Hope you found it useful.